Hello and welcome to the last Witcher Sword build video. Uh, in lieu of it being the last one, I decided to do a little, little extra for you guys. So, uh, in case you didn't know, you don't follow me on social media. The sword was snapped in half. This is the original. I got another one built. It's all done. Uh, I'll be doing something with this soon. Maybe doing another giveaway or something. But, uh, yeah guys. <laughs> I'm in the honorary Witcher as of right now. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Put in a lot of work for all of this. Uh, honestly, I'm just happy to have it done. And, uh, I think it's... Sweet. <laughs> so, uh, stay tuned. Watch this video. I hope you all enjoy it. And, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, like the video. You know, the general YouTube stuff. So, I hope you enjoy it, guys. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna write down the little phrase I'm using on there, which of course is toss a coin to your witcher and then O Valley plenty on the end. And it's done in I think it's pronounced Gelitic? Gelolitic? Something like that. So that's what the runes in the Witcher 3 are based off, so that's just what I used for mine. Just used the little online thing and transferred them over. So this was actually probably one of the longest parts of making this whole sword. The engraving took so long just that, you know, I don't do it often, so I have to go back, fix valleys and crevices, all that, just to make sure it was all even. It just took a ridiculous amount of time, but it turned out really nice. So this is actually when I heat treated the first sword. I didn't record the second one because I didn't want to go back and start over and show you all that again. You already saw how I made it. But funny enough, when I heat treated the second sword, I almost lit my whole forge on fire, made a huge fireball. <laughs> lit up the ceiling part of the wall. It was just not a fun time. So as you can see here, I actually did a three layer construction for the scabbard. I just didn't want it to get too close. I mean, I wanted a good fit, but I didn't want it to be so close that it scratches because the silver finish is, I mean, it's really soft. It's easy to take off. So I just wanted to be a little extra careful.
actually had a really huge pain doing these, because I've never actually done scabbard knots before. This was my first time learning it. So, you don't see it on camera, but I went about three, four, five times before I actually filmed it. And even then, I actually went back and redid it, because I just didn't like how it turned out. You'll see it later on in the video, but uh, this little pigment mix that I got here, it's some kind of solar activated stuff, I don't know what it's actually called, but it actually changes from like a goldish yellow color to a bright red when it gets in the sun, and it's super cool, because it doesn't have to be in direct sunlight for too long, so it just looks like the rune that just glow, and it's pretty freaking cool. excitement I had seeing it all finished and actually getting to play with it was awesome. And also don't be fooled in the next clip, I can only draw it from my back because I got really long orangutan arms. But thanks for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, leave a comment, all that stuff, subscribe if you want, and uh, stay creative y'all. Thanks. <laughs>